Well, now we invite you to join us again for the Bob and Ray public service feature, Chatting with Dr. Chesney. Now, this is the portion of the program where we invite all of our disturbed listeners to call in <laughs> and receive some expert advice from the noted psychologist, Dr. Merton Chesney. Uh, and, Doctor, I can't tell you how happy we are to have you with us again. Really? I find it interesting that you claim to be happy when you're not exhibiting any of the usual outward signs of joy. <laughs> Would you care to think about that for a moment? Well, I don't really need to think about it. Uh, when I said I was happy to have you here, it was uh, no big deal. <laughs> I, just, uh, I just said it to try to make you feel welcome. Well, I assumed as much. And do you know how the rage builds up inside every time you say something just to please another person? I assure you, there's no rage building up inside me, Doctor. Now, if we could just move along you're here. You're clenching, you're clenching your fists, and your face is flushed. I'm afraid uh, those are clear signs of su suppressed anger. Hey, knock it off, will you? <laughs> Take the first call. All right. If you don't want to become a well-adjusted person, that's your business. I'll just pick up uh, line one here. Hello, you're on the air with Dr. Chesney. Hello? Uh, I live in a large city of Pennsylvania... And I fra I'm afraid to go out and shop in my neighborhood store. Oh, yes, that's agoraphobia. No, it's Pittsburgh. <laughs> well, I had, the, I had the same problem when I lived in Cincinnati. So uh, I don't think that's the cause of it. No, I'm sure it's a fear that follows you wherever you go. And I suppose this feeling you get in stores is a panic that you may faint or even have a seizure. Well, it's panic, all right, but not like that. Well, suppose you describe exactly what happens, no matter how bizarre it may sound. Well, see, I'll be uh, pushing my cart down an aisle perfectly natural, you know, stuffing things in my pockets and under my coat. <laughs> and then I'll see the store manager watching me and starting to reach for the phone. And uh, out of nowhere... I get this scary feeling that I'm going to be locked up. Well, then, as you may have guessed, it's claustrophobia. Maybe, uh, maybe you're right. But the pirates play here, so I always assumed it was Pittsburgh. Well, I'm sure the insight you've gained from our little chat will help you work that out. And let's move on to another caller in need. Hello, you're on the air with Dr. Chesney. Oh, I'm so glad I got through to you, Doctor. I have a terrible problem with sneezing fits every year, and my family physician says they're caused by my emotions. I assume he didn't make that diagnosis until he'd ruled out allergies. Oh, I've been through every kind of test, mm -hmm. and then I had the cat's fur shaved off, and then I even had my husband take the feather out of his hat band. And, uh, nothing helped. I'm just a wreck. Well, a change of scenery is often helpful in cases of hysteria like yours. Maybe an ocean cruise or something of that sort. Well, I just can't pick up and leave on a cruise. We have 500 acres of ragweed here in the farm to be harvested. Well, I'm sure you could find a hired hand in your local yellow pages to help with that, but giving business advice is not the job of a psychologist, so I'll have to move on to another caller. Hello, you're on the air with Dr. Chesney. Hello. I'm a 43-year-old tradesperson who tends to have a lot of hallucinations. Uh, that's why it's hard for me to tell whether the people who are holding me hostage in this old sawmill are real or just figments of my imagination. Well, a chemical imbalance in the brain can sometimes make imaginary events seem very real. Yeah, that's what I kept telling myself the whole first week. But then uh, one of the guys hit me on the head and I got a big bump. Uh, that's when I decided... Maybe it was really happening. No, no, let me assure you that the body responds to messages received through the nerve system, so if you thought you'd actually been struck, uh -oh. it's merely a case... Right, look, one of them just caught me using the phone. Now I'm a Dutch for sure. No, I don't think so. See, putting an element of danger into one's fantasy is just a way of punishing yourself for some imaginary wrong you committed in childhood. You can see that, can't you? I'm sure. Hello? Hello. Well, apparently he isn't motivated to continue his treatment just now. <laughs> so I'll be signing off by saying this is Dr. Merton Chesney wishing you all good luck and good emotional stability.